All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shandy, 697 at 24 Fitness. Long drive. I know. Every video, when you see me about this time during the week, I always talk about the long drive. You know why? Because it's a long drive. So, um, yeah. Right. I mean, it was, it was an interesting day. I had to stay at work for a little bit longer, and I talked to... You know, my principal and then the boss of the uh, after school program, and then figure out some of the whole uh, plans for well, not just next year, but next semester, next week, all the stuff. And uh, yeah, I had In N Out Burger today and macaroni and cheese. So I'm not really starving, but you know, that's what I had. I, I could have done without the in and out but the thing is I didn't eat breakfast, and then I had time to just go down the street during one of my free times, and then, yeah, there we go, let me check in. So, this whole thing about, uh, you know, how hard I work and stuff, I mean, believe it or not, the people that know me know that, like, yeah, it always looks like I'm coasting, right? But I'm busting my butt doing a lot of this stuff. And uh, it feels good. But, you know, when you start thinking about the whole different things you need to do, you know, I mentioned I ought to buy a house, you know, but I just can't get myself to move out of where I live now because, you know, it's 1175 for a two bedroom, right? And so all the money you could save, right? But I don't know. I mean, an hour and a half drive totally sucks. <sighs> so I want to get the place where my mom would like, but you know, since I have to save money anyway, I might as well buy a house and, well, I don't know. I was thinking I should buy a house and buy close to my work. It might be the same amount as my mortgage. But we'll see. Let me get on this bike and think about it. Oh. All right. So I was trying to figure out how much it would be. So for some of you math whiz people, if you can figure it out, that'd be awesome. Because thing is, like I I still want to live in like, you know, Diamond Bar, Brea, you know, that area, right? But it's still gonna be our drive and, you know, to save my down payment for that and struggling. Uh, it's gonna be nuts. But, you know, I know if I move to Victorville by the lake, my mom's not going to want to move with me, but at least, I, you know, if I'm going to save money from, like, renting a place or going over there and then I could get a mortgage that's going to be $1,500 and have a pretty nice house, live, like, a block away from my school, it's pretty tempting, but, oh, gosh, I just, I just can't get myself to do it. But, I don't know, I might save a lot of money and just buy my mom a straight out house, right? But the thing is, I need a place to come for the weekends, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So, uh, we'll see how it goes. But it is pretty interesting. It is pretty interesting on how things are working out. So, I don't know. But, uh, a lot of things to ponder. So, you know, it's interesting, too, is going on these websites and then just seeing the houses that are available, how much it costs, and, you know, what you can probably bid for it or whatever. So, you know, in L.A., if you get a $500,000 house, it's a pretty small house, pretty small land, all that stuff. Over there by my school, you can get a pretty nice house for, like, two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. I mean a really nice house. You know, and you want to live by the lake and have a boat in your backyard or golf course for your yard, it's about 400. So 
I'm like, I don't know. I, I gotta, I gotta think that. Okay, I need a place to live, but pretty safe, and uh, and uh, somewhere that I'd want to live. But the thing is, it's I gotta remember this is a place that I stay during the week. So I gotta be smart about things. So yeah. Let's see how it goes. I gotta talk to all my buddies about this. This is this is a pretty big jump. So I don't know. I guess that's because the drive's just getting to me. You guys knew that. You guys knew that. But would I be happier now that I drive? Well, I guess, but what am I gonna do at night there? Nothing to do. Alright. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking about this bike thing. I'm just gonna do this bike and go home. I am super tired, you know. So, that's it. All right, got the sweat going. Yay! All right, there. Day six ninety-seven in the books. So, yeah, the whole thing about the house in Victorville. This is how much my mind changes, right? Uh, I'm not gonna get it. See you later. All right. So, yeah, I talked to Arnold, I was texting him, and, you know, it makes a lot of sense, you know, because if I get that house, then, you know, it's going to prevent me from getting a place with my mom, like, somewhere soon. I mean, I thought, I thought the, the math was pretty good, considering, you know, I'm going to work at my school for at least 10 years, right? And then, so... By that time, I'd have the house paid off and everything. But the thing is, I was trying to think of realistically if it would be very similar to having an apartment here. Because the thing is, living over there, I definitely need two places. Because one of my buddies, David, who work, lives out there, he's always in Orange County or L.A. every weekend, right? And then having to drive back there totally sucks so you need some type of place to have your home base here so if I could just you know if I got the place like in you know North Orange County it'd only be like an hour drive and that's not too bad you know I mean yeah your house is a little bit more expensive and stuff but it's, it's just about being smart about these being patient so you know I told Arnold yeah maybe I'm just impatient about this thing because I want things to happen right but then he said you know, only bad things could happen if you're impatient. So he's right. He's right. I can't rush things, especially like this. And, you know, it's going to be the biggest purchase I've ever made in my life. Right. So that's why uh got to be patient. If I'm impatient, bad things are going to happen. So totally makes sense. Thanks, Arnold. Yeah. And then so, yeah. So, Mom, don't worry. We're not living in Victorville. So, Okay. Awesome, big dash in day 697. If I could exercise 697 days in a row, you could exercise 697 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Not being impatient. Just say being patient. There you go, being patient. Awesome. See you next time.